Auzubillahiminashaitanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Let's look into the valuation techniques. Number one, market approach. In the beginning I said clearly that we should not look for entity data, we should look market data. So the market approach from non-financial assets is in active market for identical assets and liability. No matter, you must, you know, when you want to sell something or buy something, you have to go to the market. So the market is going to determine whether the price you are going to pay, what price we are going to get our asset if we want to sell. So that is the important thing, market based. Market, again, active market, most advantage is market. So that's what we have to consider, market based. So valuation. Our, we should try best. Our best that we should go to a market-based price. Because the market is there so you can get in the information and work out the price. Now cost method. Usually we are reporting our assets and liabilities at cost basis. Cost basis means at historical cost basis. When we bought something, what price we paid, how it will be recorded in the books of accounts, that we are recording. And now you know that assets are being depreciated year by year. And then price is not necessarily the price is which is the book value which you are showing in the balance sheet is the same as per market price. So we look into it that the cost and the amount we have reduced to from the accumulated depreciation. And then we worked out the other thing also that uh, sometimes it happens that your assets reduce its value due to some other changes like technology changes or maybe some obsolescence, etc. So we must keep in mind that also. So look here, current replacement cost. Replacement cost means that you got already an asset. Now you want to replace it because the new assets, new technology, new information is there. So you want to replace it. So question arise that the one you are getting is a different price. If you want to replace it, what replacement price you are going to get? That is important. That will be the maybe more, maybe less. So we need to report if we are using the cost method, we are supposed to report our assets, the fair value based on replacement cost and consider obsolescence. As I said, obsolescence means due to many reasons, and assets use uh, lost its values, maybe some damage, etc. Non-financial asset. Now, income approach. Financial forecast. It's again a huge topic in uh, financial management. What is financial forecast? You know, we work out how many years this asset will go along and what cash flow it will generate. Now, sometimes single assets cannot generate cash flow itself. Maybe a group of assets are generating, that is cash generating unit. So we must work it out. How much cash will be generated by these assets? And how long it will keep generating? That's important also. An asset is five years old. I mean, life is five years. Already two years have gone. So remaining is three years. So we should see the next three years what amount these assets will generate net cash flow, operating cash flow from these assets. And then to convert these assets, I mean these cash flows, into present value. And in present value, we discount these cash flows by using a discount factor. In fact, this discount factor is that the, uh, the, the interest rate which is going in the market. Normally, we call it implicit rate and actually what rate it is going to be that that rate should be used to discount the uh, that cash flow and then find out what is the present value present value means the value you get subsequent years now what is its value now so that present value can be used as a uh, fair fair price of fair value of the assets liability now coming to these uh, techniques it's not something which is very difficult. 
But the question is, it's again, there are a lot of subjectivity involved. But we must go by the hierarchy and accordingly, we should fix that which assets should be valued at what, what information available. Now, there is a small example here. Plant purchased for 500,000, useful life is five years. Depreciated for two years, so two years depreciation comes to 200,000. So the carrying value in the balance sheet is 300,000. Revalued fair, fair value is 460,000. So question arise, this increase of 160, how you, first of all, how you got this 460? Again, we have gone through all that drill, level one, level two, and then come up, okay, this is the fair value. Now, compare the fair value with the carrying value. So there is an increase in it by 160. So we, what we do, we reduce accumulated depreciation and credit the unrealized uh, gain 160. Now, here I want to explain you one thing, that usually this uh, topic was discussed in property, plant and equipment. So there we what we do, we also do some revaluation and uh, any surplus on revaluation, uh, we report it in other, other comprehensive income. But in this case, see, it's not that, it's going to be the gain separately, unrealized gain, and we will adjust it subsequently if there is a realized gain. If there is a loss gain, we keep adjusting it. Thank you very much.